My name is Nana and welcome to my channel, A Puzzling Lamb. Welcome to this year's Christmas video. Today I'm going to show you me putting together this beautiful Wentworth puzzle in real time. Now I have already filmed this and if I were to show you everything in one video, the video would be very, very long. So as you probably saw from the title of the video, this is part one. Part two will hopefully be out in less than a week. But before I get started on this one, first let me show you it. So it's this beautiful winter scene with a cute owl. I really, really love this puzzle. I bought this puzzle when I visited Puslespilsbutikken, Denmark's only physical puzzle store, last month. If you want to see everything I bought uh, at Puslespilsbutikken, go watch my latest haul video. Now, uh, as I was saying before, I'm... I start, I want to show you my complete Wentworth collection. Now, if you would rather skip this part and go straight to me putting this puzzle together, I will put some timestamps in. But I have some really beautiful puzzles here, so I hope you'll want to keep watching here. So I think the way I'm going to do this is I'll show you from the least amount of pieces to the puzzles I have with the most amount of pieces. And first, I have a couple of the mini puzzles. So I have this one, which is only 40 pieces. Also a wintry puzzle. But what makes this puzzle very difficult is that it's part of their extra difficult line. So the pieces, the piece shapes are only a couple of different uh, geometric, ge geometric that's hard for me to say, <laughs> uh, shapes that can all fit into each other. So it's actually a very difficult puzzle for the small piece count. I've done it a few times. It's really fun. I would like to someday have one of the extra difficult puzzles in a larger piece count. The next also a mini one is this Christmas cracker puzzle. And it's this very cute image of Santa in a hot air balloon. I really love this. Now for ones with a bit more pieces. First a 240 piece puzzle, also Christmas. I have a, quite a few Christmas puzzles from them. They have some amazing Christmas images. Whoops. <laughs> so you can see this one here. This one is really cute and I also really like this one in this piece count because it's actually rather difficult here so it's okay for me it's not more pieces the next one 250 also a rather difficult one and this one was actually one of the two very first puzzles i bought from wentworth so whoa, like that <laughs> and this one is actually really really difficult I'm really happy I didn't buy this in 500 pieces, though that would probably also have been fun. But this is just super cute. I love it. I've also done this one a few times. The next one, also a rather difficult one. I do try to buy some more difficult um, images with the wooden puzzles so the fun lasts a bit longer. So this is a Van Gogh image. I love Van Gogh and I really love this image. And I think I've only done this one once. Maybe it's time that I do it again soon. Another 250 piece one. This one. I believe I bought this in their winter sale or what they call it last year. And this one I would have loved in more pieces. It was super fun to just pick out all the different patterns. I don't think they make this one anymore, but it was really, really lovely. Now the last 250 piece puzzle, I bought this, uh, I believe at the same time as the one I just showed you. So this is also a really fun one, not as difficult as it looks, but 
really, really pretty. And uh, as I remember, this one in particular has some amazing whimsy pieces. Now we're moving into 500 pieces. And this one is one, uh, the, the second one of the first puzzles I bought. So this is a 500 piece and I just love this image. And as I've probably mentioned before, one of the things I really love about puzzles is getting some art into my life via puzzles and uh, discovering new artists and really go check out this artists. Everything this artist makes is just beautiful. And I would love if Wentworth made some more puzzles with this art. This one I got for Christmas a few years back, a 500 piece one. And I remember I just fell in love with this one the first time I saw it. I just think it's equal parts, cute and beautiful. And this artist is also one I really discovered with a puzzle. Everything she does is just so beautiful, but this one, oh, I love it. I love it, I love it. The last 500 piece puzzle, a Christmas one. This one, just beautiful. And it was a joy to put together. I'm really glad I bought it in 500 pieces because it was actually rather easy. So in 250 pieces, I think it would have been, it would have been over too soon. But I think I'm going to put this, I've only put it together one time so far, but I think I'm going to put it together again this holiday season. It was just perfect for Christmas. Really, really perfect. Now the last puzzle is also the biggest I have. It is my first and so far my only 1000 piece Wentworth puzzle. I bought this in a sale. I think it was 40% off or something because as always wooden puzzles, I would not call them expensive, but it is a lot of money and it's a lot of money for a thousand piece puzzle, but it was worth all the money and I have to have another thousand piece puzzle from them at some point. And this one, it was so fun to put together, finding all the different colored flowers and it was just a completely different experience putting together a thousand piece wooden puzzle. Uh, actually, I think I have a video, a reel on Instagram where I show the process of putting this puzzle together. So go check that out on my Instagram. So that is all my Wentworth puzzles. Quite a lot. Not enough if you ask me. I really can't get enough Wentworth puzzles. But for now, let's... What? Oh, I buried the puzzle I'm doing now. But for now, <laughs> let's get started on this beautiful, beautiful puzzle. So as always, let's start with taking a closer look at the box. So on the front, you have first the Wentworth logo, the name of the puzzle and the artist, the number of pieces, and it says premium quality laser cut wooden jigsaw featuring our charming whimsy pieces and you have a nice size image on the front here then on the sides first the logo I really like the detail of the top of the box not going all the way down to the bottom so you can see this nice plum color is that what you'd call that color I think that's really pretty here just some more Made in Great Britain standard information, the logo. Then on this side, you have again name of the puzzle, image, piece size. You also have the finished size here, 25 time, times 25 centimeters. Now, here is my only small criticism of this box. And it's that you have the barcode and this warning signal well, sign <laughs> right here. And I do think it 
ruins it a bit aesthetically when you have it on your shelf, shelf like this. I, it would be nice if this could, I don't know, be on the back of the box or perhaps just on another side. So, you know, it, it would be a lot prettier if that wasn't there. But it's okay, it's a small thing. On the back, you have just some more information about Wentworth. I'm not going to read it all. You can pause it here if you want to read. And just overall, I like the design of the box. It's very, very sturdy. It, this is a 240 piece puzzle and it's the same size box as the 500 piece puzzles. So the box could be smaller, but it's also nice and aesthetic when you have different piece counts on your shelf. Uh, that the box are the same size. Uh, as you saw before, I have a thousand piece puzzle from them. That box is bigger, uh, which is fine if all the puzzles, even the 240 piece size puzzles, were in a box the size of the ones for the thousand piece puzzles, that would be too big. This is just fine, I think. Also, if the box was much smaller than it already is, the picture here would also become very small. Now, let's open it, up. open it up. So you have the pieces here in a nice fabric drawstring bag. The same plum color as the box. I really like that color. Here you have just uh, some more information again. And here they talk about personalized puzzles. And actually, I have tried making a personalized puzzle from Wentworth. I made one for my mother for Mother's Day a few years ago with a picture from one of our many uh, hiking vacations and it came out really great. I can really recommend that. There's different themes of whimsies you can choose from. So with the one I made, there were an outdoor life whimsy pack you could choose. So it's really great. Highly recommend that. So let's take this to the side. You can already hear the lovely sound of wooden pieces. And I can smell the nice burned wood smell. I really love with laser cut wooden puzzles. I know some people don't like that smell, but I think you can just leave the pieces out for a while and it will disappear slowly, but I really, really love it. Okay, so let's see here. Now, recently, oh, I say recently, I think it was early this year, uh, Wentworth increased the thickness of the pieces from three millimeters to four millimeters. And that difference doesn't sound like a lot, but it really, really, makes a huge difference. The first time I got a puzzle with the new thickness, I actually didn't think it would be with the new thickness. It was in the period where they changed from the old thickness to this thickness. And I actually didn't, didn't think the puzzle I was getting would be with the new thickness. And when I looked inside the bag of pieces, I just knew it right away. I could feel it right away that the pieces were thicker. But again, let's look at the pieces here. Nice matte image and all the whimsies. I can see those would be will be a lot of owl whimsies. So with this puzzle, last time I made a video like this where I put together a wooden puzzle in real time. I didn't look at the image and it took a lot longer than I thought it would. So I am going to look at the image this time. I just, I'm going to put it here uh, because I'm actually not quite sure there's room enough for all the pieces and the, the puzzle while I put it together in this view you have here. But let's just get started with turning over the pieces and oh look, the Wentworth tree whimsy. There were a time where it wasn't uh, this whimsy piece wasn't in all their puzzles but with the last uh, quite a lot of few puzzles I got 
it's been in there, so I don't know if they uh, started putting it in every pe every puzzle. Sorry. Yes, but my strategy here really is just to turn over the pieces, and then I always put the whimsies over to one side. Perhaps I'll put them over here. And I'm also going to put, set aside all the edge pieces. And in Wentworth puzzles, there can be false edges, but still I think it's a good strategy to set those aside and start with the edge. And one fun thing you'll also notice is that with Wentworth puzzles, there are actually no corner pieces. The corner pieces are just made out of two edge pieces. I think that's also really fun and different. Okay. Now again, I can feel already <laughs> that it is difficult <laughs> to do this and talk at the same time. Now, if you don't want to listen to me, you can always mute me and put on your own music. That's completely fine with me. It's really some cute owl whimsies to stick together here. So one thing I really like about Wentworth puzzles and I, that I think is a bit different from a lot of other wooden puzzle brands is that well, with a lot of other wooden uh, puzzles, the I'm already making mistakes here. Uh, the pea shapes, you know, most wooden puzzles have the whimsy pieces, but uh, the rest of the pieces are often completely random, often like swirly shapes, and I think that's really really fun. I like that. I enjoy that. But as you can see here. These pieces are at least based on the standard like ribbon cut pea shapes and then of course you do get some weird ones once in a while because they have to fit around the whimsies. But I actually really enjoy that it's these more normal pea shapes. I don't know, I just think it's it's maybe going to sound a bit weird, but it feels more like a puzzle. Uh, I, in a weird way, notice more the fact that it's wooden, because it... With the other kind of pea shapes, you know, sometimes you perhaps notice the pea shapes more than you notice the fact that it's a wooden puzzle. I don't know. I like it. I'm just putting aside everything that at first glance looks look like a edge, an edge piece and it may turn out that either it's a, a false edge but it will also perhaps be you know if a puzzle goes along one of the, around this room see it may look like a like an edge piece snowflake here. I really like the whimsy pieces in Wentworth puzzles. I have tried some more cheap wooden puzzles and I find often with those even if the quality is perhaps fine then often the whimsy pieces are just generic often animal whimsy pieces no matter what the image of the puzzle actually is where with Wentworth and a lot of other great wooden brands, but especially with Wentworth, they they really make make sure that the whimsy pieces actually have something to do with the image of the puzzle. Now I am putting this together, as you can hear, on a board, a 
you know it's not fabric covered or anything and of course it does mean that the pieces slide around more um, perhaps it would be you know tactically better <laughs> to put it together on a fabric covered board uh, but first of all the pieces the Wentworth pieces as you can see they all lock together as is not always the case when the pieces are those swirly kind of shapes I talked about but also I just really like, love the sound of wooden puzzle pieces and you do lose that sound if you do it on a softer surface Okay, now I probably should have put the edge pieces <laughs> on the other side here. Let's see. Making some room here. Oh, this just smells so nice and so cozy. It's just wooden parcels are just perfect for Christmas. I mean, they're perfect all year round, but there's just something about this smell and Christmas and oh, I love it. And you can't see that, but right here next to me <laughs> is my Christmas tree. So it's really, really nice. If I wasn't already in the mood for Christmas, I sure am now. Okay, I'm pu pulling out all of these green. So I can put this here. So I'm pulling out all of that. So let's see. First two pieces together. See, this can't be an edge piece. You can see. I don't know if you can see, but it, it it's not quite straight there. So I don't think it's an edge piece. Now, when I'm doing an edge uh, like this, where I'm not completely sure everything I have actually is edge pieces, and I find a piece where I'm like, that's not an edge piece, to the side with that. I don't just mix it in with everything else. I just put it slightly to the side because I might be wrong and I don't want to then have to go and hunt after that piece. Mm. See. see, I said that would not, there not being any corner pieces, but I actually think this is a corner piece. So that will be, I think, the first Wentworth puzzle I've put together that actually have a corner piece. So it's a bit... It's exciting <laughs> to see if the other corners will also be made out of corner pieces. take out all those brown pieces that are here I think now I have really have no idea how long this video will end up being see here this is what you normally see so this is a corner which is made up of two normal looking pieces
now this image I really love this image I think I talked about it in my last haul video where I showed this puzzle it's actually not really a Christmas image as such it's more of a winter image and I like that it's not that I I don't love Christmas images that goes all in on Christmas I really love those you saw I also have some Wentworth puzzles that are really Christmas images <laughs> but I also think it's nice with these small winter images because it is limited how many puzzles I have the time to do in you know, November December so I like that I can this that an image like this fits all of winter and also it's not like I, I have I have done Christmas puzzles not around Christmas before I don't mind that but it is nice see here this is not an edge piece either because you can see it there's a house so if it were an edge it should be this way and there are no houses down there so not an edge piece this one I think is I don't think it's the easiest puzzle in the world this I don't mind it mind that it's only 240 pieces I wouldn't have minded it in 500 either and which brings me to another thing I really really love about Wentworth puzzles is that with all of their images you can choose yourself the number of pieces so this one I bought at a store here in Denmark so it was only available in this size but if you order online then you can actually often I think all the time perhaps except for the uh, you know extra difficult puzzles but otherwise you can choose to choose this one in perhaps even a mini size but otherwise a 240 and a 500 and most of the time they also go up to a thousand pieces or even more and I really like that it just gives you so much to choose from because otherwise with other brands there might be an image I really like but I think it's too few pieces can you say that too few pieces not enough pieces for the image or it's too many pieces I think it'll be too difficult for me so I really love the freedom you have with Wentworth puzzles now I'm not sure I think that's actually over here and also I have a feeling that with this image doing the edge first is probably not the easiest thing but the fastest thing but I've talked about before that I really I think I've talked about before I don't actually know I really like doing the edge first even if the edge is perhaps the most difficult part if it's really really difficult I might wait and do it until the end but I just really lo love to have the the frame really get a sense of the size of the puzzle and I don't know it just seems right and also I am not trying to do this as fast as I can I'm generally not trying to puzzle as fast as I can and especially not with wooden puzzles I really want to take my time with those Let's see. see here again a corner made out of two edge pieces instead of a corner piece what is this Mm, that's some of the owl's head. I don't think that's an edge piece. Okay. This is also a part of the owl. I might 
as you can see some of these pieces are not edge pieces and I might also be missing some edge pieces. I usually do. But let's see how much of the edge I can get done. So I like doing the edge first, but I'm also not like if I'm missing a few edge pieces, it's not like I'm going to go hunting hunting for them, not haunting, hunting for them <laughs> just to that's also part of the owl, just to finish the edge. I really want these two pieces to connect, but they don't. Ah, it's because it's there, I think. No? No. It's not because it's supposed to be there. I also think that's the owl. Hmm. I feel like I probably don't have all the edge pieces. See, this is a part of the wall. But I also feel like The wall ends there. I might not put the entire, but put the edge together. Work on the edge more because I might not want to do this as fast as possible, but I still want to finish it today. <laughs> okay, I'm putting this to the side again. So, what I'll probably do now is put together, oh sorry, put together this screen down here. But first, I know um, there are some people that always with wooden puzzles in general, but especially with Wentworth puzzles, saves the whimsy pieces to last. But I'm not doing that. Um, I do enjoy when I've finished the puzzle and I take pictures of it, I've all, I always pull out the whimsy pieces so I can take pictures of the puzzle without the whimsy pieces in. And it's really fun then when I have to put back the whimsy pieces. But I've never really... I've never really done that with... Let me try that again. I never really put the whimsy pieces in till last, you know, put together the whole puzzle, but wait with the whimsy pieces. I don't know. See, I think I found an edge piece there. Yes. Okay. So, one thing with wooden puzzles, you can easily think it'll be difficult with whimsy pieces, but actually, I think it makes the whole thing a lot easier. Because here, for example, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's clear that there's supposed to be a whimsy here. It's a weird shape. So that way it's easy to find the piece there. And then with the rest, you know, it's easy to find pieces that you can see will have to be around the whimsy. I say as I'm putting in pieces wrong. Like that. So I actually think that, in general, it really helps with whimsy pieces. Makes the puzzle easier. Now what also often helps, I think, when I can't finish the edge, is actually measuring out. So what was the size again? 25 centimeters so actually measure it two seconds so 25 so i can actually get a sense of how much of the edge is missing it's actually not that much Get a sense of the size of the puzzle. Hmm. Now 
with the green down here might actually be a bit more difficult. Or perhaps I haven't picked them all out. It's a bit difficult for me to see without leaning in. I don't know if the sound is caught on camera here, but oh, I love, love, love the sound of wooden puzzle pieces. See here, I feel like I should be able to find that goes there but there might actually not be a lot of green on it looking at the image well perhaps I should also pick out the white berries I don't quite know what it is pieces hiding behind here. Okay. Now, perhaps I should move the image a bit closer to me. Like that. thing I really really love about Wentworth puzzles and perhaps you know it's really great quality but another thing that I that really makes it my favorite wooden puzzle brand is the fact that they just have so many images to choose from and they have so many amazing images to choose from and I really believe that there are something for everyone, so they have them all. Artistic ones like these, they have some very modern ones, they have, have them all. Classic landscape images. And again, it also just the fact that you can choose in different piece sizes. But yeah, the curation, is that what you call it, of images is just amazing. And they also really often will Lisa's comes out with more puzzle images. Starting to take shape. I'm still missing. See, this is, is what I'm talking about. It slides around a bit more. Would be easy on a fabric covered board, but it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm missing that edge piece there. You guys see it here. Yeah. I'm asking you, like. I can actually hear you <laughs> answer me again.
and I have to say once again as last time I'm getting very self-conscious here and I can almost feel you guys screaming at me because you can see all kinds of things that I can't okay see so then if you do get a bit stuck one thing you can also do so I can see here that all these pieces see with these that they go around this piece so even though I haven't placed this piece this whimsy piece in the puzzle yet I can place all these pieces around it and that way it might help So now I can see that I actually, oh, it goes over here. show you on the image that you can see all those brown pieces there and also like other places in the image just put them to the side here some of it is probably the owl That's the thing with wooden parcels, sometimes you have to be a bit finicky to get them in place. But it's just the nature of wooden parcels. But then you also get the nice, well, how the pieces just drop into place. I really like that. So they also have a lot of these where the edge don't completely lock together. So the edge is holding together with the piece inside the puzzle. Which is also a reason why doing the edge first is perhaps not the greatest idea. But as I said, I like to have it at least partially finished. That is almost all of those green pieces. Now I do hope that you can... I'm saying now, because I've been filming for quite a while, <laughs> but I do hope you can see the image enough, but I, you know, had to have room for all of the pieces also. So. Mm. I think I'm going to okay. so that was at least most of the green pieces. Then perhaps I think that I will 
try and see if I can find these wall pieces. I think I will I will be able to spot those. Just enjoy the sound if you can hear it. I love it. Perhaps also some of the town, the houses. Now, these pieces, I would not call them shiny. They are definitely more, definitely more matte than they are shiny. But I am sitting with a window right over there, and I'm sitting quite low, so it does make it a bit difficult for me to see the pieces proper properly. It's not usually a problem for me with Wentworth, Wentworth puzzles, but I am not actually sitting at a table right now, so I'm, this is not where I normally puzzle. Oh, here. But uh, just so you know that perhaps you have to think about a little bit if glare can be an issue. Think about the lighting situation. But I, I still would say that these pieces are more matte than they are shiny. What is this? Ah, I think perhaps it's the moon. So again, talking about the whimsy pieces in Wentworth puzzles. Now, most of the time, normally, I think that Wentworth are really good at making the whimsy pieces so you can actually tell what it is supposed to be. But actually, when Sometimes it's a bit difficult to see. I actually also think that that is quite fun to guess. See if you can figure out what the whimsy piece is supposed to be. some of the owls wing. That edge piece is this one. Just like that. there. I feel like I should add some of the church. I feel like I should be able to see that piece. 
If you all shout really, really loud, perhaps I'll be able to hear you. Can you see it? I think this is where we'll leave it today. As I mentioned before, the next part will be out very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. See you next time.